Hello everyone and welcome to some more rapid action on uh, leeches. I've uh, already played a couple of games but I still don't have a rating. I have to play 20 of them as I have been informed so nicely in the comments. And uh, tomorrow I have a classical game uh, in the Croatian Chess League with my chess club so it's a good uh, preparation. So let's uh, up this to 10 minutes and let's uh, find an opponent. Uh, so last game we lost, it was uh, pretty uh, pretty unfortunate, we had a nice uh, Evans Gambit position, but uh, we lost, and here let me just uh, click out of the Zen mode, we are facing uh, Mora, Mo Morada, Morada Yub uh, from Egypt, and he goes for d4, and we're gonna play this uh, like I would approach a normal classical game. So I always play knight f6 to d4, and I, uh, I I don't mind playing the Nimzo Indian, so if he wants to play that, we're going to play that. Okay, so we have the Nimzo, and now it all depends on what he plays. Will it be like a queen c2, e3, a3, okay, queen c2, and uh, we're going to castle. So castles and uh, standard moves like d5, c5, uh, and get our uh, queenside pieces into the game. Uh, all right, d5. <clears throat> uh, probably e3 is coming at some point. Okay. So he goes for uh, this nice bishop maneuver, and we're gonna. What do we do? Hmm. Let's just get the knight into the game. We we defend here. Okay. So I usually play with c5. So I'm gonna play with c5 now. Uh, it's a strong bishop, but I don't think we need to worry. All right, and bishop here, and now we're going to play h6 just to get um, this tension out of the way. Uh, okay, and uh, yeah, rook e1, rook e8, sorry, rook e8, or do we go b6 first? Am I, am I in a rush to play b6? Yeah, rook e1, uh, yeah. Let's uh let's stop e4 for the moment. Yeah, once he castles, we're gonna have to capture. Otherwise, our e4 pawn is very vulnerable. Sorry, the <laughs> the d5 pawn. Uh, my my bad. Uh, and now we're just gonna play d. Do I have time for b6? That's always a question here. Yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do. Yeah, if we if we can develop our light square bishop, then everything is fine. <clears throat> okay, so now he obviously uh, he wants to stop bishop to b7 because if I play bishop to b7, he takes my knight, and then if I take with the queen, he can uh, mess up my pawn structure here. Uh, on the other hand, uh, what can we do? Huh? What can we do if we don't do that? Yeah, we can play g5. I don't know if g5 is even an option here because he will be able to attack my king, but uh, I'm pretty sure that it's okay. And then after he plays this, I'm gonna go bishop to b7. So I get my development, but he did weaken my king side a bit. Uh, it's actually much better than I hoped for. Uh, okay. So that's a pretty pretty standard idea, which uh, doesn't really bother me all that much. So we're just gonna play rook to c8. Yeah, our knight is nicely guarding the knight on uh, the knight on d7. So let's uh, get the rook to c8, and now he will probably either develop his rooks or. Or he might even play something like queen to d3, I don't know, to get out of the rook, uh, rook's range on c8, and then maybe even go for a bishop to a6, but I doubt it, I seriously doubt it. Although I know that if he manages to trade his light square bishop on, uh, on a6, then my pawns on the queen side will be somewhat weak. So we'll see what he does. We're doing okay on time, he's a little bit better. Um, yeah. If I don't blunder anything big, this should be fairly solid. All right, so probably he just gets the rooks into the game. No reason to postpone development. And uh, yeah, huh. 
we should get this uh, rook uh, out of the pin. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Interesting to say the least. If c4, okay, he does get this diagonal for his queen. Do we do we care about that? I mean, it's a very anti-positional move to play uh, pawn to c4. I'm just checking if it's maybe uh, okay to play it tactically. Yeah, and if we attack the bishop, he might trade. Yeah, let's attack the bishop. I don't want to. I don't want to rush it with c4, and I don't. I don't really think it's a good move. Okay, so we take here, uh, and we blunder our pawn while we're at it. Of course, <laughs> yeah, a little bit, only a little bit. Huh. Yeah, we blunder our pawn, but we get. I, I I could play c4. I could play c4, but I could also give up the pawn for uh for compensation on the second rank, and that's exactly what we'll do. He will take the pawn. I will take here, and claim the second rank for myself. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the the h6 pawn was hanging as well. Well, better get all the blunders out of the way, uh, so I don't commit any tomorrow. <laughs> all right, let's uh, put the rook on the g file, and uh, let's grab hold of the. No, let's capture here once. He does have pressure here, so we're gonna get pressure. Or do I wanna give up this pawn as well? First, I'm gonna play this. Yeah, he he will have one check if I don't do anything. Uh... Yeah, okay, let's go here. This at least stops him from uh, moving his bishop anywhere. So he's up by a lot of pawns. <laughs> uh, not a lot. Okay, he's up two pawns, which is fine. Just have to figure out a way. Uh... All right. So if I take here, obviously he just plays rook here, which. Uh... Yeah, okay, you can play. Like, I take, he goes here, I play queen here, uh, which kind of forces the trade, but also it allows him... Yeah, I can't move the queen, f7 is hanging. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But I, I could take both of his pawns, yeah. It does sort of get him back into the game. <clears throat> oh, but also takes rook c7, huh? Rook c7 is what you want to do. But what about takes rook c7? I play this. And then he takes my queen and I play rook captures here. He goes here. I play rook captures here with check. He can block with the rook. Although, hmm. It is possible. It is possible. But is it? Is it anything? Yeah, if I push the pawn, he's just gonna push this pawn. Also, also very nice. Uh -huh -huh. Not bad at all, not bad at all. All right, so we're we're burning a lot of time here. But if I don't find this move, it's lost. So uh, I, I have to invest. I have to invest in this move.
Hmm. I see nothing better. Okay, now we'll see. Now we'll see what is happening. So, can I just push and allow rook c7, queen e4? No, he takes here. I move my king and I get checkmated. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, definitely not. What else can we do? You can just play a slow move. Yeah, slow move. Hmm. Not the best. Not the best, but I need to survive until I open up this diagonal. He's much better on time. Okay, so obviously he gives a nice check. He wants to get the bishop here, which uh, of course he should. That's the best move. Yeah, but if he does that, I, I can even play f6, so uh, I, I do survive a little bit. Or, nah, 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 okay. Yeah, so objectively, I'm pretty sure he's completely winning here, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. We're banking everything on opening this, uh, <laughs> this diagonal. Okay, so he does play that. Very nice, very nice and very interesting. So now, if I just block with the rook, what, what was his plan? Queen here. And then we play queen here. Yeah, he's not allowing us to open up this diagonal. He's uh, being very tricky about it. So F6, while it is nice, uh, you know, that they do say that F6 loses pretty much all the positions. And here he can even, yeah, then gets the D6 square. Oh, this is uh, not the best. Not the best, definitely. Huh. Yeah, we gotta do it. We gotta do it, otherwise we just get mated. So he will go queen to d6 and offer a trade. I will be able to avoid a trade because of the checkmate threat on g4, and then he'll go back bishop to g3, and then we have to figure out what's what, otherwise we just, uh, otherwise <laughs> we just resign. So that's pretty much all we have. Oh, yeah, that's what we were expecting. So not really a, not really a surprise or anything. Yeah, and if Bishop goes back, we can even, can we? Can we do it? Hmm. Rook g6 now sort of keeps us in the game. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, of course he will play that. And we're gonna go here. He does have this check. Although I don't know how useful it is. He still has to get his rook into the game somehow. We're getting very low on time. Oh, he's just crushing us here, but we're still being very annoying. We're being very annoying, and this is a problem now if he doesn't uh, come up with a threat. So, uh, like I said, he will block, but then we at least get a pass pawn. Maybe something's happening here. 
Or I also have to be careful about rook captures on c6. Maybe he has some checks that he can combine. But uh, for the moment, while the at least while the pawn's here. Yeah, if I push the pawn, he might even have this. Rook captures, rook captures. And then queen checks, picks up the rook. Yeah, hmm. That's uh, not the best. Not the best. Uh, but also, yeah, if the rook captures, I might have an in-between check, which forces his king into the open, and we might be able to be extra annoying there. Yeah, okay, he does that. Obviously, I go, uh, I go to a light square. We don't want to get uh, checked by the bishop. And here, uh, if I push, and he... Okay, so queen here, obviously, he's not going to allow the push, as he shouldn't. Uh, do we have anything now? So we can make a rook lift, but then it's, uh, it, it's problematic, yeah. Very problematic. Oh. This bishop is an excellent defender. That, that is true. Okay, so we go here, put pressure on this pawn. He's, he, it's, it's not likely that he will ever move the bishop from g3. And uh, I'm, I'm down to 30 seconds, so I really don't have uh, better, better options. Yeah. Okay, so he somehow gets his rook into the game. We'll go here. There's probably a very devious checkmate for him somewhere. Okay, so he goes here. Is there is there something here? Okay, we can... No, we can't. We can't, unfortunately. I'm gonna try one last trick. Rook f6, maybe he takes my queen. Ah, oh, <laughs> no, I wanna checkmate him, no. Nah, yeah, sure. Sure, you can take back. <laughs> no, he, he's doing it again. Okay. Okay, so that, there we go. All right, so we lost this one uh, pretty hard. Uh, so let's just check. Uh, let's just check the game and see where where why did we have such huge problems developing? Okay, so this is all fine. This is all fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is uh. Yeah, c4, for some reason, yeah, c4 is the, the top move here. Yeah, it just forces the bishop off of the strong diagonal, but I, I don't know. Uh, good to know, but I thought it was very uh, anti-positional. So, okay, so castles, castles, I captured, okay. Everything is fine here. Yeah, knight e5, okay. Or maybe instead of b6, c4, okay. So no, b6, fine. g5, okay, c4 preferred, but g5 not terrible. Uh, yeah, okay, so here, knight e4 is the move, yeah. <clears throat> it's the move that I almost always play against the, the Nimzu in Indian, especially in classical, uh, but here uh, I was just burning too much time. Uh, bishop b7, so, yeah. Uh, like I said, if I can play bishop to b7 without it being losing, uh, uh, I'll, I'll be fine, but... Yeah, okay, rook a d1, he, he played bishop to b5 instead. Rook c8, okay, queen to b3, a6, this is now... Now I kind of equalized the uh, knight captures, queen captures, queen captures on b6. Oh, rook e6 first. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, don't blunder the h6 pawn. Yeah, h6 was the was the big blunder of my position that kind of made it unplayable. Yeah, okay, queen here. Did I have any counterplay or was it all... Yeah, okay, rook captures, captures. Yeah, nothing to be done here. Yeah, he didn't make any mistakes. Okay, so here he even had queen captures on f7. Uh, oh, so this was a blunder by him. And I called his blunder, but no. Oh, because of queen captures on e3? Ah, oh, okay. But yeah, I was, I was too low on time to even uh, see that I, I can actually win a pawn and go into bishops of opposite colors. Hmm, nice. Yeah, and here he just plays this. Queen c2 still holds, huh? <laughs> yeah, very nice. Yeah, okay, now now it's uh, pointless to continue. But yeah, uh, it was a 
you know, not terrible up until bishop to b7, too optimistic, uh, you know, with knight to e4, it's still in the in the spirit, like, of, of the Nimzo Indian, uh, but after bishop to b7, it's just objectively lost. Uh, so, yeah, uh, well, he did give me one chance to get back into the game, I missed it, and uh, it was a very, a very nice victory for him. So, good job, Mr. Morad Yub1573. Uh, uh, very nicely done, and hopefully uh, I will play better tomorrow in uh, in in uh, the the classical game that I have for my chess club. Uh, so there we have it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will see you soon, and uh, you know, uh, learn your openings.